In Anatomy of an Epidemic, Magic Bullets, Psychiatric Drugs, and the Astonishing Rise of Mental Illness in America, Robert Whitaker presents a compelling exploration of the complex relationship between psychiatric medications and the increasing prevalence of mental illness in the United States. Through a thorough examination of historical trends, scientific studies, and personal narratives, Whitaker challenges conventional wisdom and invites readers to reconsider the role of pharmaceuticals in mental health care. Whitaker's central thesis revolves around the paradoxical notion that the widespread use of psychiatric drugs has contributed to, rather than alleviated, the rising rates of mental illness in America. He posits that the pharmaceutical industry's aggressive marketing tactics, coupled with a medical establishment that has embraced the magic bullet approach to mental health, has created a cycle of overmedication and dependency among patients. One of Whitaker's primary arguments is that psychiatric medications often produce long-term adverse effects that can exacerbate the very symptoms they were intended to treat. He provides a wealth of evidence, citing numerous studies and clinical cases, to support this claim. For instance, he highlights how antipsychotic medications, initially designed to alleviate psychosis, may lead to debilitating side effects such as tardive dyskinesia and cognitive impairment. These unintended consequences raise questions about the appropriateness of prescribing these drugs on a long-term basis. Furthermore, Whitaker delves into the role of antidepressants in shaping the mental health landscape. He argues that while these drugs may provide temporary relief for some individuals, they can also induce manic episodes and increase the risk of suicide in others. This discussion underscores the importance of re-evaluating the prevailing treatment paradigms and considering alternative therapeutic approaches. Whitaker's analysis extends beyond the realm of medication to include the broader societal factors contributing to the mental health epidemic. He explores how economic disparities, social isolation, and a culture of quick fixes have all played a role in the growing prevalence of mental illness. By doing so, he encourages readers to view mental health as a multifaceted issue that cannot be resolved solely through pharmacological interventions. One of the book's strengths is its reliance on extensive research and a wide array of sources. Whitaker meticulously assembles data from epidemiological studies, clinical trials, and historical records to support his arguments. Moreover, he incorporates personal narratives of individuals who have experienced the consequences of long-term medication use, adding a human dimension to his analysis. These anecdotes serve to humanize the statistics and give readers a visceral understanding of the real-world impact of psychiatric drugs. While anatomy of an epidemic challenges established norms in mental health care, it does not entirely dismiss the potential benefits of psychiatric medications. Whitaker acknowledges that some individuals may find relief through short-term use of these drugs, especially in acute cases. However, he contends that the medical community's over-reliance on medication as the primary treatment modality needs re-evaluation. In conclusion, Robert Whitaker's Anatomy of an Epidemic offers a thought-provoking examination of the relationship between psychiatric drugs and the rising rates of mental illness in the United States. Through a well-researched and compelling narrative, Whitaker argues that the widespread use of these drugs has contributed to a cycle of overmedication and long-term adverse effects. He urges readers to reconsider the prevailing treatment paradigms and advocate for a more holistic approach to mental health care. Ultimately, the book serves as a call to action for both the medical community and society at large to address the complex factors driving the mental health epidemic in America.